we need a 24? Yep. That's the nice. I like to set it on the setting. tires off so in works getting the tires off I'd love to see where that wire is going to. What's wrong would be wrong with it with that rubber biscuit. It should just come right off. That's what's wrong with it. See it sealed blown? This rubber biscuit is probably still good. But the, so this is the part that you can't change. This, right. That's the part you can't fix. Okay, YouTube project's done. We have all new brake chambers on all the axles. This all started a couple months ago. Going to town, get fuel. And the uh, Prevo acted like she had fuel filters that were uh, stopped up. Started losing power, felt like losing power. Then about that time, <laughs> driving down, the uh, brake lights came on, telling you there's low air. And the bus started to slow down rapidly. So I got it to the side of the road. And uh, pulled it over and got our friend Steve to come out and take a look, see what he thought it was. And this is uh, about 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> By the time Steve got there, it was getting late. And uh, Steve works on bulldozers and Class 8 trucks. Like you said, this is a whole different animal. So he climbed under and checked it out. And the only thing we could find leaking was this uh, ABS valve. This is the original one. And uh, when your brakes are leaking, it blows by through here. So just a steady stream of air coming out of there. So Steve going, you know, like you said, he <laughs> don't work on these all the time. Said, uh, that's probably your problem. So this is one o'clock. We got it. The brakes cage got to pull over across the street where they're building a brand new gas station, luckily. And we parked it. I went home, called Prevo Pass. They got me hooked up with the parts department up in Dallas. The guy says, yep, I got that part in stock, but for me to come out, it's $200. This is on a Saturday night, so Sunday morning for him. So set it out. I paid the $200. Got a couple hours sleep. Drove all the way to Dallas. Came straight back. Went over to the bus. Hooked it up. And it did the same thing. Talked to Steve. He said, man, I don't know what to tell you. So, uh. Monday morning, we called Prevo Pass. They got a hold of a uh, maintenance company out of Austin. 
It came out, said, yep, yeah, it's the brake chamber. Of course, they don't carry those type of brake chambers. <laughs> so they ordered one, and uh, the bus sat on the side over at the gas station for three days. Got the part in. And what Prevo charges you, $350. <laughs> when you get from the roadside, guys, they just double it, 100% markup. But we just took it apart here a little while ago. And as you can see right here, this seal has blowed out. So after thinking it over, after this, we got the one changed. Like, you know what? These are all probably the same year. Nothing's ever been changed as far as I know. I'm the third owner. We said, you know what? We just changed it out. And we got these all for not much more than what we paid for the one. You know, but you pay. That's what happens when you break down on the side of the road. So we got it done. Uh, I looked at the date codes on here. It looks like they're all original, nine, 1998. The bus is a 99 chassis, which that would seem about right. So we got it done. Uh, wasn't too bad. Did have to take the tires off to do it. He could get under there, but there's a couple nuts on a couple of them that, you know, it's just, you're fighting it, so it's just easier to take the tires off. But all said done, took four hours, got it all done. These are all new, so everything underneath the bus is new. Since we had Joe Camper come down la uh, last November and do all the brake lines and the airlines and change all that stuff out. So the bottom of the bus is new. Uh, she's about ready. But like I said, and uh, this is the other diaphragm that goes in there. This is the only one you can change if it was. Looking at it, it's not bad. Uh, it doesn't look dry rotted or anything. This has some rust from where the inside the chamber was collecting a little bit of water. But, you know, 1998 to now, this is 2022, if you're watching this video in the future. So, not too bad. Got her done. Uh, oops. Walking through our trap. I got to clean this shop up. It's been crazy. Trying to get all this stuff done. And our next big project... After we get this finished up, and oh, did an oil change today too, so got that done. So the mechanic knocked it out. But this is our let's catch up to Camp Prevo. <laughs> Y'all watch this channel, you got good stuff. And I got another clip in here talking about this. That's about it for today. So if you're ever driving your bus and all of a sudden you start losing power, and then your uh, dash air gauges start blinking. You get the horn, start looking for the shoulder. Because let me tell you, once they lock up this bus, even with 500 horses, she don't move. That's it. So, that's it. Now, uh, get this all buttoned up tomorrow. Put the covers back on here. And uh, I got to wire in this new ABS valve. Of course, it's not plug and play. So, I'll do that tomorrow. Get some shrink stuff and seal it weather tight. And we'll be good. So, that's it. Well, the big package showed up today. Our next big project. Compliments of Camp Prevo. If it wouldn't have been for him, we would have never done this. So shout out to Aaron. Y'all click, like, and subscribe to his channel. Puts out awesome videos. He's an awesome guy. So there you go. We'll do an unboxing here in a little bit. Just a quick shot of uh, dry fitting it in there. See how it's gonna work. A little close here, but the door would shut. But the good thing is, we got all those batteries back there that are gonna go away and open this bay up all the way to the other side. So, looking forward to that. Looks good, looks like they changed the logo. Put a nice lime green. Guess I have to change my color scheme for lights that's gonna go in there. 